you put it in minimum maximum mode, all you have to do in that mode is just kind of run it through the arc of, of where your farthest point is. Right. You can flip that thing out, okay. hook it on the wall, and now you know you're on that, that corner of the wall. Hey, what's going on? Barnaby here. So you want to know more about the Leica Disto D2 laser distance measurer? It can shoot out to 197 feet or as close as two inches. That'd be the range, plus or minus a 16th of an inch as far as the accuracy goes. And it'll do straight line area volume and Pythagorean measurements. And what we like to do with tools like this is put them into the hands of guys like Mike Johnson, who you might recognize as an expert that we've used for category overviews here at toolselect.com. But you're also a highly accomplished worker in the flooring industry. And so for yep. that, we want you to be a tool reviewer now, okay? <laughs> All right. Talk about your line of work. Fill us in exactly, what well, do you do? I do uh, estimation and service work for Johnson Carpet. Mm -hmm. um, we do all the, all the takeoffs for homes and, and figuring out how much it's gonna take to, to get a, a job done as far as what materials. Okay, cool. So, what uh, were you measuring up? What sort of project were you? Well, you you use this for um, doing uh, uh, takeoffs on the site for uh, for floor covering, mm -hmm. um, for tile, for uh, wood floors, stuff like that. Okay, and so you've used laser distance measures before. I have. I have. Yeah. So Performance-wise, how this one stack up? This one's fantastic. I mean, it, they they all seem to work pretty well, but. A lot of them were a lot bigger, and mm -hmm. you're not going to carry those around in your pocket. You got to have a, a sheath on the side, and sure. And so, what was ex exciting about this one was the size of it. Okay. So that was nice. Yeah, and as far as uh, just taking it out of the box, putting the battery in, and then just going for it, was it easy to use? Oh, it's very intuitive. I mean, it's got the little on button, a little arrow on there. You just hit the button, mm -hmm. and it's ready to go right now. You hit the button again, and it's going to tell you how far away that that point is. So, right there, it's very simple to use. Okay, and then uh, it's got the straight line, the area, the volume, yep. and then into the world of Pythagorean theorem, where you can make those measurements to find yep. the hypotenuse. As exactly, well. exactly, and it's uh, it's dust resistant, so it's sealed up real nice. You mm -hmm. get in a dusty environment, you're not going to get a bunch of dust inside it messing up the inner workings of it. Um, it's uh, it also shows your last few measurements, which is cool because. Mm -hmm. You know, you can you can refer back to something you may have forgotten, which never happens to me, but I've sure. heard right. that may happen. You may shoot a couple measurements in a room and, and forget the first one exactly. Before How far back can you go? You can, I believe you can go back 10 measures. Okay. I think that you can hit the little button here. It'll show you your last 10. Mm -hmm. um, and that's cool. It'll also do um, minimum and maximum measurements, mm -hmm. which is nice because, you know, sometimes when you're when you're firing this thing up, you know, you're trying to hold on a specific point, and right. as you push the button, just pushing the button is enough to move that laser dot, you know, 40 feet away mm -hmm. out of that, that inside corner or something they're trying to measure. But if you put it in minimal maximum mode, mm -hmm. it's running a continuous measurement. Oh, okay. And so all you have to do in that mode is just kind of run it through the arc of, of where your, your farthest point is. Right. And it's going to record that and let you know exactly how far away that is. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's get into the uh, design of it. I mean, just as far as, you know, we've kind of broached that. What about the readability of the screen? It's, it's very easily readable. Mm -hmm. um, and it's got a backlit. Uh, screen as well. So if you get in, into darker areas, you know, a lot of the new construction, you know, they don't have the house completely lit right. in, the, in the phases that we're measuring it in. They may not have uh, closet light bulbs in or closet light switches in. They, right. So as you get in the basement or in the back parts of the house or in the in interiors, uh, you may run out of light when you hit the little light button on there. You can still keep doing your job. Okay, look at that. It stands up all on its own. <laughs> it's a kickstand. Yeah, so that's just for the uh, the nice still measurement from uh, floor to ceiling, and it factors in the length of the uh, tool. Yep, yep. Yeah. That's actually uh, you can grab a, a corner of a wall that way too. So mm -hmm. if you're measuring from the back of the of the unit, mm -hmm. um, you don't have to guess. You know, I think that's at the edge of the wall. You can flip that thing out, okay. hook it on the wall, and now you know you're on that, that corner of the wall measuring further down. Okay, and you know, you did make mention of the uh, IP54 ingress as far as dust and water resistance. Yeah, so that's another design feature. That that's great bridges us into the world of quality. Do you think with uh, you know just daily use, this is gonna hold up? Oh, I think it will very well. Um, like it's got a good name, uh, they make nice stuff, and this one is no exception. Um, you know, the, the fact that they go that extra mile mm -hmm. and put that dust and water resistance in there, yeah. um, that's, that just shows you know, their commitment to quality as far as I'm concerned. And I've got no problem 
thinking that that thing's just gonna last. Okay, and then it's a dollars and cents proposition because yep. you know, you're in the world of estimating, you wanna keep costs down, yeah. certainly. What about this guy? Is this one that you would recommend to people that are looking for a laser distance measurer with this capability? Yeah, with this capability, if you're using these things day in, day out, mm -hmm. um, I think I would recommend this. Um, you know, if you're using it kind of sporadically, you know, you gotta make a little bit of a judgment call because it is a little more expensive than the competition. Um, but you are getting a little bit smaller package. I think the one I had before this was a little bit larger, mm -hmm. a little bit heavier, um, didn't have a backlight, and didn't have the, the multiple readout where you could see the, the last few measurements you had. Okay. And, but it was a little less expensive. So I, I think value-wise, um, if, if you're, you're doing a lot of this stuff, it, it's probably worth it, but uh, I'd you know, probably get it the four out of five on value. All right, thanks a lot. Well, there you have it, good information to get you closer to that magical moment of which tool is right for the job, because we try to get you there with the real stats from real people, because it is a big decision trying to figure out which tool is right for you.